in this video, I'm going to go over the basic UI of our stage widget. So when you're doing location scouting in your level and you've reached a position where you have found where you think you want your shot, now you need to bring your stage to your location. So at the top right corner of the stage widget, we have the snap stage to view tool. So what that does is if you hit that, it will automatically set your stage on the ground underneath of you facing the direction that you have set. So once you've brought your stage to you, you may want to select your frustum camera, which you can do at the bottom left corner of your stage widget here, or you can do that on your frustum camera widget. So now we want to set our camera position. This button also works for any actor, but we have a pilot. If you go to the top right corner of the stage widget, you have a little steering wheel that will automatically pilot whatever actor you have selected. So if we click that, now we can set our shot here. I'm using an outline on my IC VFX component. So if you go into your end display config and then to your IC VFX camera, and then you go to inner frustum border outline, just in case you are wondering how to enable that. We have our location marker tab, our stage settings tab, and our level snapshots tab. If you want to know more about them, I have individual videos on each of those systems. And then we also have a snap viewport to stage config. So this is basically that if we are somewhere else in the level and we want to snap back to our stage, if we're filming somewhere else in our level, we can hit that and it'll bring us to our stage. Now you can control the transform for that. It's a little weird the way it works, so we're not always using it. Underneath of our different workflows here, we have a select frustum cam, so that will select the first frustum camera in your index. So to the right of that, we have the previs toolbar, a, an assistant to help with previs workflows. If you open up the previs toolbar, you'll see the add to hidden layer little widget here basically if you select one or multiple actors in your level you can add them to a hidden layers so right now we have our talent that we want to use for previs showing up on our end display config screen that we have back here and then so that means that she would actually show up in end display as well select those assets and then add them to our hidden layer and that'll automatically hide them from end display you can use this for windows or doors or anything that you are potentially going to be moving through as well with the frustum camera but you generally want to also have those props on a separate level that is set to streaming method blueprint this makes it so that when end display loads all of your levels, it doesn't load that level and it doesn't get in the way of your camera and camera tracking. So if you want to remove something from the hidden layer, you can just select it again and then hit the X. If you want to see your layers, you can go to window and then layers and then you can see the VPT previs layer. Now, if you right click this, you can select actors and this will select all of the actors that are within this level. So to export a screenshot quickly, you can select a reference camera or multiple reference cameras at one time if you wanna go into the outliner and select them. We're gonna select our reference camera and then we're gonna hit export screenshot. And then at the bottom right corner, it will show up a link to your screenshot. It will be named based on whatever your reference camera's label was. The screenshots can be used for storyboarding and for tech viz purposes. Once you're done exporting your screenshots, you'll wanna go to the top left corner of your viewport and set your viewport field of view back to 90. Right now, when you export screenshots through that method, it automatically sets the field of view to the last camera that you've exported. So to close that, we can just hit it again. 
so the freeze all viewports button freezes all of the viewports besides the in-camera VFX. So what your camera sees still stays live while outside of your camera frustum gets frozen. So this saves on frame rates if you're having trouble with level optimization. If you have any type of moving objects in your scene, this might not work for you. Or if you're switching locations or doing some type of sequence shot where the reflections need to have those animations in them as well, this might not work for you. So to the left of that is our save all button. You can just use this for saving your levels and assets in one go. I got sick of looking for the save all button. And then just to the right of that is persist multi-user changes. Now, right now we're not in a multi-user session, so I won't be able to demonstrate this, but when you go through your multi-user workflow, you'll be able to use this.